In this next video in the vitamin series, we'll learn about why vitamin D is important for bone development and health. Hey everyone, my name is Dr. Graham Dersna. Welcome to Bite Size Medicine, your go-to channel for short, easy to understand videos about the common medical topics that matter to you. If you're new, make sure to subscribe, get involved in the comments, and check out the description below for links and resources. Let's get started. Bone health is important at all stages of life. As children, we need to develop strong bones that will support us for the rest of our life. And in our adult and senior years, we want to maintain that strength to prevent fractures. Vitamin D plays a critical role in bone development and maintenance. So let's learn about where it comes from, how it works, and what happens when we don't have enough. Vitamin D is an essential nutrient because it helps to control the amount of calcium and phosphate in our body. And calcium and phosphate are needed to build and repair our bones. Calcium is also used by our muscles to move and by our nerves to send signals throughout our body. Unlike vitamin C and folate in the previous videos, our body can make vitamin D, and it is a fat-soluble vitamin, which means we can store it in our fat cells for later use. The way our body makes vitamin D is when we're exposed to sunlight, a chemical reaction occurs in our skin to create the building block for vitamin D. Our kidneys or liver then use the building block to activate it or store it. We can also get a little vitamin D from our diet. It isn't found in many foods, but some good sources include fortified milk, fortified cereal, fatty fish like salmon, and fungi like mushrooms. One of the most important aspects to know about vitamin D is what occurs when we have a deficiency, and the consequences are different depending on our age. In childhood, a vitamin D deficiency leads to a disease called rickets. Without vitamin D to help manage bone growth, the child's bones will be soft and weak. This leads to having bow legs, which is when their legs bend outwards. Other bones can also be affected, including their ribs, skull, arms, spine, and teeth. Overall, they'll have poor development and stunted growth. In adults, the disease is called osteomalacia. Since an adult's bones are fully developed, they will not get bow legs like in rickets, but their bones will become softer and they'll have bone pain and muscle weakness. Long-term deficiency can lead to a disease called osteoporosis, where the bones are severely weakened and much more likely to fracture. There are many causes of osteoporosis, one of which is simply old age, and it affects millions of people worldwide. So it is important to maintain adequate calcium and vitamin D levels and to regularly exercise to prevent it. Some causes of vitamin D deficiency include decreased sun exposure, diseases that make it difficult to absorb vitamin D from our diet, such as cystic fibrosis and celiac disease, and chronic kidney disease, where our kidneys cannot activate the vitamin D building block. Like the other vitamin deficiencies, the treatment of vitamin D deficiency is to take more vitamin D. Based on the cause of the deficiency, your doctor will prescribe the appropriate dose and treatment. Remember, like the other vitamins, it is possible to have too much. Check out the links below to learn more about vitamin D, the deficiency diseases, and the side effects of having too much. Before you go, make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Let me know if you enjoyed the video, learned something new, have any questions, have a personal experience in this area that you'd like to share, or have ideas for a future video. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time for another delicious bite of medicine.